lighthearted. So if you guys haven't figured it out yet, maybe by some of the posts I've been doing on Instagram or on the blog, I am in the middle of updating my office. And I just recently painted my walls this light gray color and my desktop was the same kind of tone. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to really bring the design and do something kind of fun on my desktop and really kind of do some interesting kind of design piece uh, for my office. So I actually saw this design or this pattern on an invitation that was on Pinterest and I wanted to recreate that look onto my desktop. So I've actually already prepped my desktop with a coat of white paint and then I'm going to start to lay out the stripes for you guys. So the pattern I want to do has this big um, square or diamond shape in the middle to really kind of center the pattern that kind of leads out with the chevron stripes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start measuring. Um, I've got a really big desktop. It's actually a door that I've converted into a desk. And the first thing you wanna do is take your tape measure and I'm gonna measure out the entire length of the door. And you can kinda see I've already started um, prepping one side of the table for you. So my door is 80 inches tall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mark halfway through. So at the 40 mark. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the width so I can really get where my center point is on this desktop. So I'm at 28, so 14. So this is kind of my, my starting point from here. Once you figure out where your center point is on your desktop, you wanna figure out how big you want the shape in the middle. So I've decided I'm gonna go about a foot out on each side. So these markers are gonna now act as your guideline for when you are taping off the pattern that you wanna create. To make life really easy, I decided that I'm just going to do the stripes the size of this Scotch Blue Painter's Tape. This one is actually the edge lock version, so it's really going to help give you that crisp line when painting the stripes. And also, this is the wider version since I wanted my stripes to be a little bit thicker on the pattern. So the next step is, is I'm just going to take my corners, kind of where my center point is, and I'm going to meet my other center point. So this is the point where you get to decide how big you want your stripes to be or the pattern to look. So for my first one, I've kind of just decided that I'm going to eyeball it and kind of get a reference of how big I want this stripe to be. So I'm just gonna lay this out. So my first stripe is laid out and from here I'm just going to measure out three inches so I kind of act as my guideline for putting out the remaining of the stripes. You can get really precise on this but for me I kind of just like eyeballing it um, in order to put the pattern and the design together. So when you're laying down your lines, you can use your guideline um, for the middle part, but it's really good to have one side that goes a little bit past or longer than the other side. So as you can see, this was my middle part, so I'm gonna move the tape maybe like a half an inch past that. And then you wanna use your scissors and cut a straight line so that when you come to this side to meet up for it, you've got your consistent kind of nice sharp corner. So I'm actually gonna use chalkboard paint to do the dark stripes on my desktop. I thought it'd be a really cool idea that if I'm working here, I can actually write notes or my to-do list on the desk and have it kind of right there in front of me. So I'm gonna start painting and I'm gonna show you guys kind of how to, how to do it.
So once your paint is fully dry, you get to start pulling off the tape, which is my favorite part, and then it gets to reveal what the pattern is that you've created. After you take off the tape, if there's any bleeds that came through, you can just take a small paintbrush and kind of go through them and really tighten and sharpen up those lines and make it look super crisp. So if you guys enjoyed this DIY, make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow me on I Am Like Hearted for new videos every Friday.